with, you will have received an email alert advising you that you do have TMD shown below. They have been drafted and are ready for your review and approval in the Zydler Swift TMD generator system. Click here to take you through to your actual Zydler logon. And then simply click on sign in to join the system. Scroll down, past county party due diligence if you do have access to that, through to the TMD tile at the bottom and click into that part of the system. This is a made up fund, completely illustrative and does not reflect or represent any fund that is held under corporate trustee services and equity trustee services. At the start, you can see that you are advised how many target market determinations you have. For here, we can see we only have one. If you have a number of TMDs, this front screen will show you the first 50 funds. If you have more than one fund to access, you can click onto this downward arrow here and that will show you any other funds at that level. You can search using the fund name if you have more than one. You can search on the APIR code. You can search on the status. The status that you will naturally come to see is awaiting client approval zero out of two. The investment manager approval is the first step and then equity trustees, the issuer, is the second step approval. You can see that we are actually looking at the TMD itself right here. The other important things to note are what we have here, dissemination lists and dissemination history. In dissemination lists, this will have a list of all of the platforms or distribution endpoints that you notified through to equity trustees when you were identified as a fund caught by DDO. And that may in include data aggregators as well as platforms, but they will be email addresses that will want to receive your approved TMD. When you have an approved TMD and it has been disseminated out, this tab here, dissemination history, will share with you who has actually received your latest TMD come back into the TMD screen. And you can see at the top, we have two grayed out columns here, download and approve. And we're being invited to, to review the TMD. You can do this in a number of ways. It's entirely up to you. You can click against the fund and note that you can now download or approve, which we wouldn't recommend at this point because you haven't seen it, or review. There's also some interesting information that we have here. We have your APIR code, the name of the fund at the APIR share class level, the associated ARSN, and if applicable, the ICING code. Over underneath notes and actions, you can create a note to leave behind an audit trail of what you are recommending or suggesting on behalf of your organization another way for you to download your TMD, as you can download here, or simply to go through to review. For ease, we recommend that potentially this would be a useful way for you to review, to download the TMD. It will appear as a PDF on your screen and you can simply open it and it will be there for you to review and you can toggle then between the target market determination PDF and the system using your TARS at the top of the screen. Let's go in and look at doing a review. You can scroll down and you can see that you have a previous version. If this was your second version, this is where you would have a comparative version to see what had changed. And you can start to review your target market determination, noting that your logo for your organization would be here in the top right hand corner. 
and that would be the first item for you to review. Reading down the first couple of paragraphs, all of this information is hard coded in the first paragraph. The second paragraph is literally hard coded and is just inviting you to read the PDF. The first item that is important for you to confirm is correct are your important terms. And this is so that you can actually invite anybody who is reading your TMD to go to the PDF. And this URL here would be replaced with whichever URL you have for your target market determination template for your PDF. The summary here is the free format text that you will have provided in the standing data template Excel file to give a summary statement for each of the green elements for each of those consumer objectives, investments, risk that you filled in in the Excel template. Scrolling through, for you to check the data here is correct for this specific fund as named. Your date, your TMD approved, is likely to be the date that it was uploaded to the Zeidler system because approval is viewed to likely take place between yourselves and equity trustees within one to two business days. The TMD version will literally start at one and each time a change is made to the TMD um, before it's approved, it will go up. TMD status is exactly as you provided in your Excel standing data template. And once we are looking for approval, we would be looking for a TMD to be available. The other statuses may be unavailable, closed or unavailable and not supported. If you have any issues or doubt with which status should be for your TMD, please reach out to your relationship manager in the first instance. Scrolling through to the consumer attributes. And again, the RAG status for each of these is entirely illustrative and is not intended to be reflective of the words that you see here under the product description. The fund itself that we have made up here, again, is completely fictitious. So you are checking that the product description, including the key attributes here on the right hand side, is reflective exactly of that which you completed with your Excel standing data template, that this RAG indicator for growth, preservation, capital guaranteed and income distribution reflects exactly what you were expecting for the consumer's investment objective and aligns completely to your PDF that is currently available. Going through each of the consumer attributes in turn, if you are looking to see if there's been any amendment, if there are any typos, if you have any changes at all that you wish to make for this TMD, please capture those and we will be providing notes on them and I'll show you how to do that shortly. Going through investment timeframe, consumers risk and ability to bear loss and return profile and consumers need to withdraw money. The next thing for you to check is your distribution conditions. Unlikely if your product is considered a whole of market and is therefore highly liquid, you would expect to have no distribution conditions here and the rationale would pull through from your standing data template, not applicable. However, if you do have a complex fund, an RG240 type, we would be expecting to see a distribution condition at this point. The mandatory review periods for the TMD itself, the initial review would be a maximum one year and three months. Subsequent would be a maximum three years and three months. And then underneath distributor reporting requirements, the only element that you would expect to see here would be providing a link to the distributors so that they may report to us the issuer using the method specified on our DDO reporting web page. Finally, the issuer is either one of the three equity trustees limited, responsible entity, 
or equity trustees well. And this again will have been provided by you in your standing data Excel template. The remainder of the TMD is, are the definitions that were provided through to you when you completed these originally. If at any time you're thinking that you want to make a change, and that could be a change to one of the RAG indicators or the actual word in description, then please make a note of those. And then when you've decided that you've reviewed all of it, come back up to the top and go into the approval tab. At this point, we would ask you to click both of the arrows to make sure that you're not missing any notes from either another of your investment managers in your approval scope. You were asked to provide at least two people who can provide approval for your organization. And also you will see that any notes can be left by the issuer approval as well by equity trustees. You'll note in this example, again, purely illustrative, that Emma Woolrich has undertaken a first review. You may have your own two-step process within your organization. You may have a product design committee that prefers to provide a consensus approval. And this allows you to actually add notes yourself. For instance, on this one, we can say this is a second review and not a real fund is now happy to approve, to EQP to approve and release. If you did have some comments and you wanted to amend, at this point, you would save and send to Zeidler. And this would ensure that Zeidler could then make those amendments and your TMD would then go back to awaiting client review zero out of two. If we were simply going to save the note at this point, we would save the note here. Note updated successfully. We click on the blue arrow and you can see that that has also been amended and provided there with the date. If we were going to want to save and make changes to the content of the TMD, we would actually provide our changes with exactly which RAC statuses were to be changed, the wording to support that change, and we would save and send to Zeidler. I won't do that at this point. I'll take you through to the approve. So once we're happy that we've put everything on for this TMD, and click approve. Are you sure you want to approve this TMD will come up? Confirm. And do you want to add another note? Again, this is entirely up to you whether you leave a note here, approve via not a real fund committee, or if you have a two-step process, this would be your final approval and add the note. You can see that we have changed to investment manager approval approved. We can see who has made the approval and we can check the notes at any time and we can see who did approve and when they approved and all the associated notes with that. And now it would go on to equity trustees for them to undertake their review of your TMD. And if they were to make any suggestions for amendments, they would also provide a note. They would create a note in here and they would make suggestions, consumer objective requires additional wording to support green status in income distribution. Again, this is completely illustrative. And if they were to send that to Zeidler, this would then take the approval back to awaiting client's review and approval, zero out of two. So the process simply loops back. I'm not gonna do that. I will save a note. 
and I will also approve at this point. And that would then kick off the dissemination process and you would see then your TMDs have been disseminated and they would appear here. It doesn't happen real time. There is a process overnight. It's likely between midnight and 2 a.m. And so you would then be able to check back here the following day to see where they've been disseminated. And that concludes your training on Investment Manager TMD review and approval through to approving by equity trustees. If you have any queries or questions following this training, please refer to your relationship manager in the first instance. And please watch this training in conjunction with completing your standing data Excel templates. Thank you for listening and watching.